You can already see, however, that the AI itself is quite um, clever. So they positioned, for instance, really well with our um, with our flashbang grenades, so that even though it was a large radius, only very limited uh, numbers could effectively be in there. Um, I like that quite a lot because the um, their covering mechanism the and how they take their cover um, always leaves the opportunity the for them to at least have one shot. Contact. They do not cluster up as much the as they did uh, previously in XCOM. What I didn't like so much is um, again the randomness of the map, which sometimes is a uh, Disadvantage as opposed to the very standard maps that you had in XCOM, uh, in XCOM 1. Because in this case, we moved into full cover, and not only did we trigger one but two uh, uh, pots, we couldn't move really away from, uh, from them. So we were forced to take the fight at a severe, severely um, hampered position. And yeah, against the sector and four, uh, against two sectors and four. Um, Advent Troopers, things are not looking pretty. Indeed, they are looking pretty dull. Menace one five. We have a fix on the target. Shit happens. I, usually within the, the first position. two to three missions, I'm fine with restarting Moving because it's position. so early, and the game itself is becoming incredibly uh, harder defense. afterwards. You really want to have a, a solid start where your roster uh, where your roster is strong Moving and where you have enough guys to to fill in any potential shortcomings. If you find yourself with already losses at the at the very first days, then what's usually going to happen is scanning, scanning. you end up uh, latest at the terror mission uh, retaliation mission as it's called here which happens around the end of month one um, which is in my opinion the hardest one in, in month number one and yeah you end up there with a um, squad of four rookies wondering or with a squad of four inexperienced guys wondering why exactly You're near the target you, can't, position. you can't make it because you are simply not dealing enough damage or Things are hitting too hard. Yeah. Confirmed. So there are a couple of fixed breakpoints or or equipment or uh, or character Moving. checks, so to speak, where the game is testing whether you have been successful so far. And if all of you guys are in the med bay and or dead, then yeah, you're just not passing the check. All right, that's one down to get her a promotion, and hopefully the other two are not now being shot down, so we get two further promotions. Just how I like it. Come on. Yep, one down, two down. I love you, rookies. Target neutralized. Awesome. This one might be carrying something. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes a human DNA. Well, that might be a problem. Ever, with an even greater psionic potential. The Advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. I'm on the move! Wow. Again, no kill. Out of there now! It's just a 70% shot, and I don't want to have any chances here. I want to be sure that we reduce the number of enemies as much as possible. Of course, the grenade, which only needs to deal one point of damage, certainly deals four points of damage. Okay. 
so she's on a heavy fire. Let's just hunker her down. Take another overwatch here. She's going to be marked. Nope, it's just an overwatch. Alright. Not sure if he can even hit. Um, that's 40 cover from from the heavy uh, from the full cover uh, plus hunker down, which is another 30. Yeah, sure, minimum damage, perfect. I like it. The game is always trying to tell me, oh, you have planned it correctly, but unfortunately, RNG is not on your side today. Guess what? Fuck you, game, for always giving me minimum damage on my rolls. I don't like that. Question is, if I want to dash back, I mean the Overwatch fire has a high percentage chance of just hit, uh, of just missing, and we just take these guys here and kill them. This here would remove the copper. Now yeah, let's try to get the um, the sector first. Okay, one more hit. Come on, come on. 90%. There we go. It takes care about the sector and the zombie. Now next up I'm just going to charge back. It's going to trigger overwatch, but the chances for hitting are they are so incredibly bold. I was about to say they are low. Legend, start game, and add Iron Man, yes please. It's time the aliens and the rest of the Advent Administration learn that we can hit them where it hurts. So we're moving into the city center to strike a high profile target. Deploy and approach the designated position. Neutralize any hostile contacts and secure the site. And again, it has shown as soon as we trigger two attacks uh, at the very first uh, time, we are going to take losses. Your squad, unless you have five or six members, is just not strong enough at the beginning to trigger more than one attack. So your number one priority, and that's something that I can just underline from the few days that I've played so far on Legend, is you don't want to trigger under any circumstances a second attack, because that usually means someone is going to die. They just got triggered and immediately he went onto Overwatch and you've seen even dashing out of Overwatch kind of was pointless because he one shot at us. So we have JC Phoenix again here. Maybe that's going to be a run where well we are going to be successful. Let's hope JC is it's our lucky charm here. Confirmed. That's affirmative. The corrected pool, by the way, guys, just for your info. So Zarp, Firewolfy, both of you are in the corrected pool. Um, yeah, it kind of works. You can randomly be assigned uh, during any time um, to either 
uh, a mission or, or a recruitment. These so it might be later in the game that the characters will be found or as, as a reward for a mission. Yeah, so basically any time. Understood. Moving out. Orders confirmed. On the move. On the move. if these guys are even taking a patrol. It's going to be three troopers, so we might as well pull them with normal shots and not with overwood. That's one down. Taken care of. They will now run into cover, which per se is not a problem. Well, the full cover might be a problem, but the rest is not a problem. It's still a very good shot. There we go. Let's make sure we pull back so this guy is motivated to come to us. And now we're just going to lay on the watch trap. He's going to sprint to us. There we go. Shot number one. Why exactly who, who allowed you to m mess up Make shot number target. two? That is just not good. Okay, JC Phoenix, start. That's three promotions now. Target down. Position. I'm on it. I'm on it. Affirmative. Covering now. Heads up. Got movement. Maybe that's another patrol which will run into us. Would be nice because we would have many good shots on them. Still nothing. Come on. I'm desperately hoping for them uh, to run into us. Because having four Overwatch shots for free is a big advantage. Movement. It's close. Nope, probably not going to happen. So my take is they are just up there. Not really moving. Heading there now. The Advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. That's a 50-50 against the Edmund officer. I still try to take it. First shot a hit. One more shot. Shouldn't be minimum damage, please. That one missed. Come on. Good job. Target neutralized. Lark, Try welcome to the chat, mate. So, let's see. I'm going to hunker down here just to give them a target to unleash their rage upon. Nope, they take uh, the targets in half cover. 
don't like that at all. Heavy fire in this song. I would much rather prefer <laughs> them to go for the uh, for the hunker down target. But we have been lucky so far. Been down here. And both of uh, these shots were 50-50s. That was a 66% shot, I like it. Let's take the other one, because we can always finish him with a grenade. Perfect, two down. Blackhawk, I fully uh, feel you. I had some enemies that didn't want to move at all. So I was like, can you please move? Nope. Could you please move? Nope. Come on, please move. Nope, still not going to move. And then you need to run into them, which kind of sucks. Back online, moving to Overwatch. That would be also something that they could fix, so enemies theoretically can spawn on rooftops. I don't have an issue with this, but I certainly do have an issue if, uh, if that means that the enemy is not allowed to move at all. Because it can't drop down from the rooftop on its own. Okay, so at least they are moving. I'm still trying to get them into our own watch uh, um, trap. Come on, guys, I know that you want to engage with us. And that's now the final engage, I think. If I'm not mistaken, it should be a secret and one trooper. And we do have a good chance of killing. Yeah, maybe even both. Or maybe no one, because we are not hitting. Let's see. Three more shots to go. Come on, charge at us. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are That's already a very bad sign that Cooper went into full cover. Because that means that all of our guys yep, literally everyone missed. So that's four out of four completely starting to do a re full retard mode here. Roger that. Grenade out. Let's get rid of the cover. Also damage the sector, of course, just a little bit for good measure. Head now. Into next cover. We are going to start with the advent. Good job. Now it's only Enemy the sector. High chances Nine. on him to just move away. He's probably not going to shoot at us. But guess what? I want to kill him this round, so yep. There we go, perfect. Seven critical, that was the new record. The area is secure. For We're not mission. picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menace one five, we have a limited window to act before advent responds. And that's our loot. Need to get those charges planted on the double. Which is an Alarium core. Like I said, not the optimal loot, but I'm it's sure okay for this. the first mission. Better than nothing. And you can okay. usually sell it for ten to twenty uh, supplies in the black market later. So even if we don't use it right away, that's just 20 supplies for free, which is fine. Menace one five, rendezvous at the extraction point. Good, so that was a flawless first mission. Status confirmed. The if we do it clear. correct, we should be able to also do the second mission just as just as well as we did the, with the first. Problem is always if you mess up any of the first missions, it's going to be super hard afterwards. 
but that one was really really nice. In our defense, look at that uh, shot percentage rate. We have finished some of the missions where the shot percentage rate was between 50 and 60, sometimes even lower. So yeah, that kind of added towards it. Even with uh, high cover, uh, with high ground, 82% um, is pretty pretty good. Up. The aliens don't stand a chance, Commander. Good, so there's our grenadier. I'll come. Just like it sounds, our JC Phoenix this time is a sniper. I like it. Up. Let's continue, get to the research real quick, and then take a look at our soldiers afterwards. So we start with alien biotech, engineering, build facilities. To expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander. But we'll need the tactics school, yes, please. First. We'll start work on the new and facility right away, Commander. Also, buy two items, flashbang grenades, like we did last time. And these are our soldiers. So we do have Cesar here. Look at that. Chrissy. We have Wengstra and we have Blarkhawk. What a nice surprise. I guess uh, we'll take Zarp. Okay. We need to customize him a little bit. He's too female so far. Yep, that looks much better. Maybe some more solid sunglasses. I like it. And we do have Blarkonk here. That was as close as I could get to your uh, to your picture on on Twitch. It's a guy with uh, short hair, basically. Good, gentlemen. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Yeah, I'm pretty happy to be on my feet as While we well. While we prepare for new operations and continue our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your That's own, the worst we'll possible uh, thing to do, just area. scanning for uh, intel Commander, here. One of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to uh, a site but there is a scientist. I like it. That's a good start. Commander, the Avengers' remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. It's going to take some time, though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. So, Commander, there we go. One the engineer, and afterwards grow, we get a scientist we'll for free. We'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. As it is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the alien's operations. So, in this region. let's take a look. Our we want to. Is limited, so we'll have to move fast. Uh, first of all, look into our soldiers because we want to color code them. And yeah, Wengstra is also there. Look at that. Kind of a relaxed uh, uh, dude from down under. I mean, it says China, but for real, it's, it's Australia probably. Good, so we want to keep our color coding here. I'm so used to it from XCOM 1. Good, so let's take one Grenadier and three Rookies, which is going to be Zor, Blarkhong and Wengstra.
So we take the Brenner deer with us. JC Phoenix is going to stay home for this one. Protect the device. We don't need a hacker, a specialist for this. Rookies are just doing fine on this mission. So there you are, guys. Pretty much a badass squad. But no matter how badass we are, we better take some flashbangs with us. Good, two flashbangs, three high explosives, one babysitter, and three guys who want to earn promotion. 